Hi, good evening and welcome. My name is Sandra. My channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. Today I am doing an unboxing and it's the second of my American Beauty Box subscriptions um, from May. So I'll explain, just give a quick summary. So the video before this one would have been my Ipsy Glam bag um, plus and that was also from May. This one is a BoxyCharm Premium and that is from May. So just to explain, um, quite a few of my American Beauty Box subscriptions were sent out quite late in the States um, to my shipper to address in America which is in Oregon. In America so they were sent out quite late and obviously what once if there is a, a late delivery so I think some of my I think one of these boxes didn't arrive until the last week in May um, it's going to take a while for it to be shipped to me here in the UK so it does take about sort of 10 to 14 days for things to arrive from the States to me here in the UK so in a way I'm actually quite lucky that it's arrived in the first week in June so the box I'm doing today is my BoxyCharm Premium but it's May's one so it's not June it's May so just to, to let you know so a bit late but there you go before I go into this box let me give you a review about how I got on with the April BoxyCharm Premium I have got some notes here so let's go through that the April BoxyCharm Premium was in my opinion it was pretty spectacular um, mainly because the eyeshadow palette I received was from um, it was from Luna Beauty and it's the Life is a Jag palette. So this is the eyeshadow palette I received and I absolutely love this palette. It's really good formula, great colour combinations and you, know, you can work with it. You can do it. It can do fantastic evening, spectacular um, sparkly looks. You can do sultry looks. You can do everyday, um, everyday looks. You can do workwear looks. You know, you can do whatever looks you want. The, the shades in there are suitable for all skin shades. Pigmented, great formula. Really, really happy with the quality of that, of that eyeshadow palette. I was very impressed. Um, it is on sale in the UK and I think Beauty Bay was selling it for £43 but I, I got it in my BoxyCharm Premium in April so for me that was just a winner straight away so there was that. I also re received in the April Premium box was this from um, Peach and Lily and it was the Good Acids Pore Toner so this I've decided to keep um, to give away to family come present time so birthday it could be Christmas but it is going to go as a present to family come you know when the time comes because it was a um, it was an acid, it was a poor tone, and I was thought, okay, I know there were people in my family who'll appreciate that. So that is going to be going as a gift to somebody at some point later on. Um, the other thing I received, so the third thing I received in my April premium box were some brushes from Opulent Beauty, and they were the crystal brushes. So there was three brushes with that clear, clear handles. I did put those in an April giveaway box, and they have been sent out and received by the April giveaway winner, who was Dutch Monique, who has got her own channel here. Um, I also received from the April box was. Um, a mascara from Wonder Beauty and it was a mile high mascara. I haven't been impressed with this mascara. I have been using it, haven't been impressed and to be honest I think I'm actually going to throw it away. I was actually really quite excited about it because um, the the brush head was actually quite small and it was off the sort of length that I can use to do sort of my bottom lashes but I just haven't been getting any performance out of it. I could do two coats, three coats, coats and I'm not getting anything out of it. So to be honest I'm actually going to put this in my trash because in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, the one I've just unboxed, I've got a Tarte mascara and I've got that on now and it works perfectly. So I can actually throw this one away now. So that is going in the trash. And the final thing which I got in my April BoxyCharm Premium, which again I was really impressed with, um, was from Too Faced. Um, I haven't had much luck with Too Faced products in the past. So I was like, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I don't know what this is going to be like. But this was a Too Faced Rich and Dazzle Lip Gloss. And it's lovely. It's quite sheer. But if you put a couple of coats on, you do get a bit of definite colour. I'm, I'll put it on now because I haven't got anything on my lips. And I love it. It's really nice. And I have worn it a few times in some of the videos I have been filming. So put this on now. I'll just put that on just a little bit because I, I don't know what's inside this box. But yeah, I've really liked this lip gloss from Too Faced. So my 
so my April box of charm premium was for me a success I was very very pleased with it put this back there right let's get on and do my May box of charm premium so this is what the box looks like box of charm premium costs 35 dollars in the states which translates to something like 27 pounds our money the exchange rate has got a bit bad for sterling pounds um it's not great so it's about it's about 27 28 pounds for us over here so prices have really gone up because of the, the really bad exchange rate so what I'm looking for today is for my box to be worth a lot more than what I paid in shipping that's to bear in mind at the moment so there you go there's a warning do bear that in mind shipping costs as well and the exchange rate because it's not great at the moment for us in the UK so let's have a look so this is the box of charm premium that's what it looks like I'm pretty certain there might not be a card inside this box because a lot of people who unbox their May premium boxes in the states did not get a card but there is a way of getting your card online so if you just do boxycharm.com forward slash insert card you'll have your card pulled up so that's what I've done here so let me pull up my card and I can tell you what I got so this is what the box looks like on the inside okay let's go so I've got one two three four five six items in here so that's all good so there's nothing that was taken out okay let's go for it so if i do it in order what's on the card so the first thing is from Too Faced and it's Too Faced Cosmetics and it's a natural eyes neutral eyeshadow palette um, which costs 38 dollars in the states so let me show this to you so there you go so that's this So we've got a little leaflet there as well and that's what the palette looks like it's very pretty i mean Too Faced do know how to package their products they really do they seem to go all all out for their packaging so let's have a look what it looks like so it's got natural matte okay and i love the little clasp as well look at that okay so those are the shades there very neutral shades aren't they really really pretty is it very small yeah it's got a, a sort of um a vanilla it's got a kind of vanilla fragrance look those are the shades there i'm not going to swatch this because you know what i'm not going to keep this i'm not going to keep this I'm not sure if i'm going to sell it or put it in the giveaway but let's see if i can find some information on it right so in the states that palette costs 38 dollars let me see if i can find it over here all right, so the first place that's come up as selling this is John Lewis and John Lewis are selling it for £34 to make sure it's exactly the same thing yeah it's the same thing um, and it is described as let's have a quick look it's in stock product description um, we updated our best-selling natural matte eyeshadow palette with with seven new shades and two classic shades all infused with coconut butter for creamier mattes and gorgeous wear rich pigmented shadows offer true color payoff luxurious silky smooth formula blends effortlessly for an airbrushed effect um, all the shades you need in a compact purse size palette includes our signature glamour guide with three looks to get you started oversized base shades ensure you never run out of your most used shadows coconut butter infused formula for creamy comfortable wear it smells like coconut how to use apply shadow blah blah blah, blah. so there you go all right so it is on sale it's current stock so it's not end of stock it's not out of date stock and it's on sale in the uk um, for 34 pounds and that's what it looks like there you go so that's cool um i might put that in the june giveaway box i will think about it i'll see what else comes in my um i'll see what else comes up comes in over the next couple of weeks but it might be going in the june giveaway box so that's the first item so that's cool second item ah uh, yes i know this item is definitely going inside the giveaway so this is from cat one d so Kat Von D and it is a 24 hour super brow long wear pomade and it's in shade medium brown. 
So there you go. Medium brown. There you go. Open it up and show it to you. So that's what it looks like. So it's even got a medium brown lid. That's what it looks like. Um, I will open it briefly, but it is going in my giveaway box and that's what it looks like. Okay. Right. Okay, so the first site that came up selling this was Debenhams online um, and it costs from £17.10 to £19. So it depends on the shade how much it's going to be. Let's have a quick look. Right, so medium brown was, was sold for £19 and it's out of stock. So that is definitely going in my giveaway for June. Product description. The power to craft any brow imaginable is finally a reality. 24 hour super brow is your secret weapon for bold brows with a high impact budge proof look. Get ready to shape, sculpt, colour and create with the boldest brow product ever. Created in a spectrum of 16 ultra pigmented shades. Um, KVD vegan beauty. So it's vegan product. Um, stretch the boundaries of innovation to create the weightless waterproof formula she's always wanted but but hasn't been able to find so yeah there you go but it's definitely going in my june giveaway box so that's the second product in there and that's worth 17 pounds next uh in here let's have a look this is oh yes uh, this is a product that i know i saw a lot of the american youtubers really having a moan about so this is from milk products and it's a mini and it's like a lip and Lip, lip and cheek um, tint product so this is a, a glow oil lip and cheek I've got it in the shade flare let's have a look and see what this is like and it's a mini but um, people were really upset about it in the states because they're saying it's a premium box why are we getting mini products or sample products they, they weren't happy really weren't happy but you can actually buy this product in this size so this is what it looks like yeah. It's got a little protective thing on it. Gosh, sorry. When I took it off, I kind of damaged it. Sorry about that. But that's the colour there. I'm not going to do a swatch, but... Oh, God, I've damaged it now. Are you going to want this if I put this in the giveaway? Are you going to want that? Oh, I don't know, guys. Tell me if you think it's acceptable for me to put it in the giveaway. Because when I took the plastic lid off, I, I damaged it. Um, yeah, tell me if you think it's acceptable for me to put that in the giveaway. I don't know. Right, let's get some information on it. It is a Milk Makeup Glow Oil Lip and Cheek. A sheer shimmering mini lip and cheek tint for a lit from within... Oopsie daisy. I've lost it. Um, a, a lit from within. It provides skin with a surge of hydration and vitamins and you can brush it on your lips and so on and it's worth $15 in the States I'll see if I can find the price of it in the UK right so this is sold in the UK at cult beauty so cultbeauty.co.uk and it costs 12 pounds so I'm gonna put this one here I'm gonna put it aside and I'll wait for you guys to tell me if you think it's okay for me to put that in my giveaway box because I have damaged the, the the lid I have damaged the product a little bit when I took the plastic protecting lid off stupid me so I'll either keep this or I'll put it in a giveaway but you tell me if you think it's acceptable to go inside there right carry on what's inside there so we've got a product here from um, Skin Enco Truffle Therapy it's an eye concentrate now I do like this brand I like this brand a lot so from this brand I have received a face mist spray toner thing and I actually use that as my spray so I dampen my face with it and then I put on my hyaluronic acid so that's what I've been using the spray one for and I've been quite happy doing it that way I've also received a gommage so it's like a creamy exfoliant um, but it's not harsh it doesn't scrub your face and scratch your face it's been a really nice one so I've been using that as my um, face exfoliation that's when I'm not using the LMS one I'm sure I've received in another box so that's the two products I've received from Skin & Co so I do like this brand so this is truffle therapy and it's an eye concentrate so let's take this out oh god right, look at the size of this box right come on look at the size of this box then look at the size of the products inside it I really hate it when brands just 
waste all this packaging for that so but anyway that's it and I do like an eye product so I am definitely keeping that this is I'm pleased with this because my, my eye protection is very important to me right now and there you go that's what it looks like it's a rich creamy product so that will go into my reserves of products to use so I'm very happy with that let me see if I can get the information on it for you right so skin and code truffle therapy eye concentrate this one uh, created to target the appearance of tired eyes puffiness eye concentrate has been perfected blah blah blah, blah and it's worth 66 dollars guys 66 dollars let me find the price of it over here grief 66 dollars wow okay so there's several sites that sell this product in the uk so you've got iherb skin store um ninth avenue uk so ninth avenue uk look out for that website um it's a website that sells a lot of american goods so a lot of things that we can't get over here but they do really pump up the price so i tend to ignore it so they're selling it for 100 pounds but let's just ignore that um, on iHerb and the other sites, they're selling this for $53, £53.72, £53.72, yeah, that seems to be the consistent price on all the other sites, 53 quid. so in the States it's $66, here it's £53, yeah, I'm definitely keeping that, so that's all cool, honestly, skincare is so expensive, right, I've got two more items here, now I know this product, a lot of people were like, what is this? There was no information provided to the the American YouTubers. So people didn't know what this was and they were kind of discarding it. So this is from Pure Heels Centella 90 Ampoule. Um, if I show it to you, I did do a little bit of research for this and it's a product I am keeping. So this is what it looks like. Cool packaging, isn't it? Yeah. So it is a serum, but if I get the information for you and show you what it's about. <coughs> so in the States, it costs $29. No, it costs $28 in the States. And if I get the information for you. Right, so this is sold in the UK and it's sold for £22.27. Um, it's got pretty, really, some decent reviews on it. Uh, let's get some information on it. Right, so the benefits of this are skin irritation tested, uses EWG green grade ingredients, contains 90% of centella extract to soothe irritated skin for healthy radiance, and reinforces collapsing skin barrier with ceramide NP to protect skin. It fortifies skin moisture barrier to protect skin from the external aggressors, contains adenosine to improve fine lines and niacinamide for skin brightening so it was that last bit that kind of caught my attention and how to use after cleansing and toner apply a proper amount along skin texture and pat gently for better absorption so i am keeping that but i would say this seems to be a product that's good for brightening for refining your skin so if your skin's been damaged or it's irritated it's something for that um, and i kind of imagine it would be really good again for some reason i'm talking about skiing a lot um like if you go somewhere and the 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 environment or temperatures are a little bit harsh that would be the kind of product that you could put on your skin and it will help calm your skin down and just heal it up a bit and this last product inside my boxycharm premium is from sugar rush again it's from sugar rush again and this is a sugar rush tartar best bud lip balm butter if i show this to you it's in fragrance peony and isn't this cute isn't that cute look at that That's what it looks like. So it's a solid product. I don't know if you can see that yet. It's a solid product. Yeah. So that's what that looks like. I'm not going to keep that because I've got enough lip balms to last me a lifetime at the moment. So if I get the information on that. So on the on the BoxyCharm Premium card, it says um, it's worth twelve dollars. And if I just get the price for it in sterling. So the Sugar Rush Lip Balm is 
dollars i can't find a uk price for it so it's 12 dollars in the states i'm actually going to put this in the giveaway because as i said i've got a hell of a lot of lip balms already i've got enough to keep me going for a good couple of years at least so that's my boxycharm premium for may what did we think um okay so if i just go through the products again so we've got the sugar rush we've got the lip balm there we've got this pure heels um serum which i'm pretty certain i'm going to keep for myself um this milk mini lip oil lip and cheek I want to put this in the giveaway but because I damaged the top when I was taking the plastic protector off I'm going to ask you guys to tell me if you want me to keep it keep it for myself or put it in the giveaway because it is a little bit damaged at the top and I, I literally nicked the top so it's like ugh. so you guys do decide if you want to I don't know if you want a damaged product or not I mean it is literally just a little nick in the top but you decide if you want me to put it in the giveaway or not otherwise I'll keep it um, I've got this Skin & Co Eye Concentrate which I'm very happy about because I do love my eye serums and it's 53 quid guys and we've got the Too Faced Eyeshadow Palette. I, I've decided what I'm going to do with this one. I am going to put the Too Faced Natural Matte Neutral Matte Shadow Palette. I'm going to put this on eBay to sell because that, that will be Coop some of my costs I think I think that's fair isn't it so yeah I'm probably going to put this on eBay for about £20 and uh, see how it goes so if you want it if you're interested just check out eBay it'll be on there um, and that's my BoxyCharm Premium how would I rate it if I did that point system again let's think about that point system which I nicked from um, that YouTuber which I, whose name I still can't remember so what she did, she, she gives a point to products that she's going to keep and she's happy with, um, products that she's definitely not going to be using, no points. So products that she might give away to somebody or she might use once or something like that, um, she, she gives half a point. So let's, let's go there. So this I am definitely keeping, so that gets one point. So six products, wasn't there? There were six products. I'm going to put that in a giveaway, the, the lip balm, so that gets half a point. So I'm giving that away. The Skin & Co Eye Concentrate I'm definitely keeping. So that's two points. The Too Faced Eye Shadow Palette. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. So I'm going to give that half a point for now because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. And the Kat Von D Brow Pomade I'm giving away. So it's two products I'm definitely giving away. Actually, it seems to be quite a lot of products. Two products I'm definitely giving away. So the Sugar Rush Lip Balm and the Kat Von D Brow Pomade. They've been given away, so they get half a point each, so that's one. The Pure Heels um, Ampoule Serum, I'm keeping that, so that's one. The Skin & Co Eye Concentrate, I'm keeping, so that's one. So that's two, two, three. Um, this, I don't know if I'm going to keep or not. I'm relying on you guys to tell me about that, so that's going to get half for now. And the Eyeshadow Palette. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that either. So that gets half a point. Why I'm sort of undecided about this eyeshadow palette is because I've got loads of these shades already, particularly in my Tarte. I've got loads of Tarte palettes all over the place and they've got these shades in them. So I really don't, I don't need this to be honest. So it's either going to go in the giveaway or I might resell it. Not sure as yet. So that's going to get half a point as well. So really I'm, I'm talking about, uh, so this box has got four out of six points. So that's all right, isn't it? That's all right. I mean, the two products I'm keeping, I'm more than happy with, because this is 50 and this is, how much was this again? 22 pounds, wasn't it? So I've got 75 pounds worth here of two products there, which I'm more than happy to use. So I've recovered my costs and I've made a bit of money on there as well. So I, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy with that box. But I think May was a bit of a dodgy month, really. And I think that's the impression I've got from a lot of the American YouTubers as well, that April and May boxes, people weren't that thrilled with. But again, I think it's because of this whole COVID-19 situation. Supplies aren't there. Um, supply chains are limited. What people are producing and releasing, there's been, no, it's, it's been, everything's been messed up. So March, April, May were very dodgy months, I think, for description boxes in particular. So 
yeah but i'm happy with it i paid my money so i'm happy but guys let me know what you think and please don't forget to let me know what you think i should do with this milk makeup should i put this in a giveaway box or not yeah um because i have damaged it let me show you what the the june giveaway box is looking like at the moment so at the moment this could be going in there but we're not sure so this is the milk makeup um mini lip and cheeks so that's going in there um i did put in there another product which you haven't seen this is from wish it's exfoliating foot mask so that's in the giveaway box at the moment i've put my ipsy glam bag plus bag in there we've got the mud masky after mask serum in there cat von d um super brow pomade in medium brown that's in there tart sugar rush um lip balm that's in there We've got this glove hairbrush, rain, rainbow drop hairbrush. We've got some tanning products in there. Saint, -Trop Saint Tropez Self Tan Express in there. You've got a coffee scrub. You've got your tanning mitt. And you've got your Ultra Sun lip balm. So that's inside the box, the giveaway box at the moment. Um, if I need to upgrade to a bigger box, I will do. I'm expecting more beauty boxes this month so we'll see what else can go in there and if I need to put everything in a bigger box I will okay guys that's my boxy charm premium for the month what do you think and again don't forget to tell me what you think about that mini milk if I should put that inside the giveaway box or not all right guys take care thanks very much for watching look after yourselves bye